the internet is responsible for a whole host of social and economic benefits, attacks against the internet, availability threats for the internet impacts the world in a very, very significant way. My name is Michael Bailey. I'm a research faculty here at the University of Michigan. Along with Farnam Jahanian, I am the co-director of the Networking and Security Research Group. The basic goal of our work is to develop techniques and methods to help us protect against a wide variety of network threats on the internet today. So one of the projects that we're working on right now that I'm very excited about is a piece of joint work with the University of California at Berkeley. Here we're studying the exhaustion of IPv4 addresses and the eventual adoption of IPv6 addresses. So the purpose of this work is to study two things. One, which is what happens to an IPv4 internet when things that were previously free, believed inexhaustible, all of a sudden become scarce. And second, we're looking at the transition to that new technology and trying to understand how we move something as big as today's global internet from one version to the next version. Another area of interest for our group is the studying of security and the internet. Underlying most of the security problems in the modern internet today, whether that's phishing or spam, is this botnet problem. When your computer becomes infected, the attacker not only steals your passwords, looks for your credit card information, tries to monetize your box, it also takes your computer and your computing resources and connects them into its own malicious network or infrastructure that it then uses to launch a whole host of attacks. So one of the things that we spend a lot of time looking at is can we get visibility into this global phenomenon? Can we characterize this class of threats? Can we build detectors that help us know when a new threat emerges? And can we do anything actionable to help bring these boxes down and help clean up the malicious part of the internet? I think Michigan and our group attract a certain kind of student. Four out of the five tier one students out of our group are currently CTOs at companies. Part of doing this impactful kind of work at the edge between practice and science means that we attract people that want to go and make a difference in the world. And if we can provide that kind of experience, whether it's in the corporate or in the academic sphere for any of our students, I think that's a win, it's a success for us.